to talk about bastards tonight. Um, <laughs> so I've got a set comprised of total bastards. And the first bastard is Richard Littlejohn, the writer. Hey. Of the and I couldn't possibly do him justice in five minutes. So I'm just going to focus on his views on Japan and why none of us here, under any circumstances, should have sympathy for the earthquake, tsunami, nuclear meltdown, other earthquake, expert tsunami. Uh, because according to his article, in this article, anyone who's never been to Japan will realise that it's like walking on the surface of another planet. <laughs> and I'm quite well travelled. And I've also seen Brian Cox's programme. And not once, <laughs> not once when he's talking about Saturn, or Saturn as he likes to call it, he's saying, <laughs> the rings of Saturn are a bit like Tokyo. <laughs> I've also got a friend who's doing a tackle books, and I, I thought about writing to him saying, how's uh, Nagasaki? Because my mate uh, Richard said it's probably a bit like Pluto. <laughs> no, not really, though, so it's a bit like South Korea. Maybe not quite as neat. <laughs> and he goes on, Little John goes on in this article to say um, that the football supporters of Tottenham are absolute hypocrites for daring to have a one minute silence. Because as we know, what do those brutish, thuggish Spurs fans possibly know about Japan. After all, how many of them could even place Japan on a map? <laughs> Probably a lot more than him, because at least be a map of planet Earth. He <laughs> <laughs> thinks it's somewhere in the Horseshoe Nebula. <laughs> but um, the crux of his argument is um, that the Japanese are militantly racist and capable of great cruelty. And he knows this because uh, his wife's dead grandfather, Harold, <laughs> sadly tortured by the Japanese in World War II, uh, and therefore were completely immune from any form of sympathy. <laughs> it's what I like to call the Nan Syndrome. It's basically like everybody's Nan squeezed into the carcass of a walrus. You know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's disgusting. But a, fr a friend said, well, you say that, Dyson, but playing devil's advocate, I think your hatred of Little John is as extreme and at times as irrational as his hatred of the Japanese. <laughs> and if two generations down the line, Little John's grandchildren were killed in a freak tsunami, buried in an earthquake, and then someone smeared plutonium on their faces, <laughs> and Little John was there with his son with a tear in his eye, would you honour the one minute silence? <laughs> yes, of course I would. But then I'd start dancing around him, I'd poke him with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> As sad as it is, as sad as it is to the son, I can't possibly have any sympathy because, as you know, your grandfather is militantly racist. <laughs> capable of great cruelty, so wash my hands off. <laughs> uh, also, if, anyone's, <laughs> if anyone's ever read a word of Richard Littlejohn, it's like going to the surface of another planet with views so abhorrent that couldn't possibly come from a human being. Uh, my next set of uh, bastards are the uh, English Defence League. Uh, they're my favourite bastards, the way they turn racism into a form of superhero. Because oh, English Defence does sound a bit like Defenders of the Earth. <laughs> and I half imagine their mascot to be kind of a white supremacist ice man or something. <laughs> An anti-Semitic Spider-Man. <laughs> my my favourite story recently, um, Jim Bowen from Bullseye had a stroke and an oh. Asian um, writer got it wrong and said that he'd died. <laughs> and that's, you know, that's quite bad. But uh, the English Defence League immediately jumped to this and said, Oh, that's just typical of the Muslims, isn't it? <laughs> trying to spread Ed Islam through game shows. <laughs> you know, start, start, with, start with Bullseye, before you know it, there'll be mosques on the set of Family Fortunes. <laughs> and all the questions, all the questions on the weakest link will be questions from the Quran. <laughs> and you can't, you can't possibly reason with them. It's, you know, it's absurd. So I think you should all do this tonight. What I do, I go onto an English Defence League forum with fake Wikipedia entries. And I say, I think even saying about Bully, about Bullseye, but you have to realise that Bully from Bullseye is actually a Turkish immigrant <laughs> who came over here on a speedboat, which he stole. And <laughs> he's been living with benefits, and for the last two years he's been circling this country, uh, recruiting for a terrorist splinter cell. <laughs> and Jim Bowen found out about this. So Bully, su Bully surprised him, I'm going, in one! <laughs> and that's what gave him his stroke. He will eventually kill him. And that just really confounds him. And that's, and I'll just do it tonight. That's over my set. Good hey! <laughs> Good
You have anything to say, Fedora? <laughs> 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 <laughs>